Here at the VR 2010 conference in Waltham, Massachusetts, companies showed off their newest virtual reality products. While VR has not showed up in consumer products yet, the technology is used in car and plane engineering, medical applications, architectural design, and animation. Motion Analysis, a California-based company, uses body tracking technology to create avatars for engineers. Their tracking was used as proof of concept for the 3D movie Avatar. Well, she's wearing a, uh, what, what we call a head-mounted display. It's basically to uh, immerse her in a, uh, a virtual uh, environment where uh, we can basically load up virtual worlds and have her interacting. Now we're looking at a split, split screen here because uh, she has a stereoscopic view so the top screen is her left eye and the bottom screen is what she's seeing with her right eye. When they come together in the HMD it gives her a stereoscopic uh, effect so she has some depth of field recognition. What we're looking at here is some industrial applications looking at a virtual reality lab at uh, Lockheed Martin in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. This is for the F-35 uh, Joint Strike Fighter where they're looking at maintainability functions to ensure that the aircraft can be used on existing uh, assets, particularly aircraft carriers. If the aircraft doesn't fit and cannot be maintained, it's a hundred million dollar doorstop. Down here we're looking at uh, where the technology is used in car companies, uh, such as Ford Motor Company, uh, and we're looking at ingress, egress, how the person fits in the vehicle cockpit, and how the cockpit's laid out for the most optimum interaction. Another company, Sense Graphics, demos a stroke rehabilitation tool that combines virtual reality and haptics. This device is currently used in medical centers in Sweden. Uh, this application I'm going to show now is developed by a company in Sweden, another company called Curictus, which is working with stroke rehabilitation. If you get a stroke, if you're a stroke victim, it is very important that you train on a daily basis and involve as many senses in the rehabilitation process. So we are using uh, um, force feedback, so the stroke victim get, get a response to uh, their actions. So this setup is used as an activity station, so the stroke victim can, can play fun games. So the goal here is to push the green dot. So uh, at the same time, we are tracking your movements and then you can measure your response time and this is very important for the stroke victim to see that from one session to another you have improved. That motivates you further to do even more training. A company called Sensix develops panoramic wide field of view VR head displays. The head display is used for defense applications for flight simulation and mission training. It's also used by engineers. We're doing a lot of industrial design, so you have the car companies that are using it to take their 3D CAD models and look at them in a virtual reality uh, viewpoint so that they can feel what it's like, say, to be inside of a car before actually having to build one. And this is, uh, enhances and speeds up the design process significantly. This is an example of our core product, which is called the X-Site. It provides a 120 degree fully immersive field of view, and it has six screens per eye. Sensex claim to fame is tiling multiple OLED micro displays in order to achieve a product which is wide field of view, very lightweight, this one is 11 ounces, and high resolution. CyberGlove Systems developed a glove that lets users interact with virtual environments. This allows industrial engineers to experiment with and modify virtual objects, like the inside of a car, without needing to build real life-size models. The glove is currently used by Boeing and several car companies. This is the 22 sensor glove. Um, you've got uh, four additional sensors across each of the digits. And what really sets our glove products apart is abduction, which you'll see here. You have abduction sensors in between each of the fingers. And for data gloves, being able to capture a simple movement such as an OK sign or being able to touch thumb to each of the fingers 
is what really sets our club apart. If products like these become cheaper, maybe one day we'll see them in consumer applications, like video games.